Hello and welcome to Spotlight. Well, today we're turning the attention on something that's been a great hit this year. That's the World Defense Show that had its inaugural event in Saudi Arabia earlier on in the year, back in March. So, here we're going to be talking to Andy Piercy, the Chief Executive of the event, and Amanda Stainer, who's the Chief Commercial Officer. Welcome to the program. So, Andy, let's, let's start with you. Tell us about the event. What, what made it so special this year? Well, it was the first event in the kingdom of, of this nature. It, it was huge. So we, we, about exhibitors and visitors that turned up were, were unbelievable. So I think for us, it was about a new event, setting the kingdom in the place in the world of defence show. We've got a big target to hit, a big vision to make, be the number one defence show in the world. So that's what we're aiming for, and that's what we did, we think. Now, I know talking to some of your team at the time, they, they said it was... Uh, it was interesting, they got feedback and so on, and that when you're planning for next year's event, for the 2024 event, you're actually looking at picking up on some of that feedback. And just tell me how that worked. Yeah, we, we obviously do surveys at the end of the show and, and we listen to our exhibitors and what they say. Um, really, for us, it's about driving the growth of the show. So we're looking to expand the exhibition, really. So that, that's really where we're going. But in terms of some of the feedback from our exhibitors, we take it. We're looking to, to develop some of the themes of the show. So you'll see a new theme for the show, the future of defence. Um, and so that, that's really driving that forward, new content at the show. So we take that feedback from the exhibitors and really develop the show moving forward. Now, Amanda, Saudi Arabia has opened up. It's suddenly become important. So how are we dealing with that, with people wanting to come to Saudi Arabia, and how is the show going to help? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it's, a, it's an amazing country to come and visit. Um, and you're absolutely right now. It's completely opened up for business. Uh, the ability for people to travel there to get in is, is fantastic now and far easier to do. The show itself, it's got an amazing initiative there with the 2030 vision. It's all about the standardization program and how they want to form partnerships internationally and globally. And the World Defence Show really is a fantastic platform for that. And we have an excellent program there that's free for all the exhibitors and participants to attend, which is Meet the Care government um, and that there we have people talking about how to get involved with GAMI, SAMI, how to get involved with the MOD, the Ministry of Interior and others. So we're really opening up and welcoming everyone to come and meet the right players in the industry to do business. So it's a fantastic platform particularly for the defence industry to meet the right people. And what's the reaction been like to the people you're talking to about coming? I mean it was a phenomenal number, you were pretty full on the on the first edition. How's that looking at the second? Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean sales already out were over 50% um, sold already and that's without actually putting our full plan completely together. Uh, we've actually just finalised that because we're actually going to be putting up a new hall, uh, probably temporary but a brand new hall three just to cope with the demand. Um, so as I said the exhibition was sold out last time and also we also had a lot of players coming along, a lot of exhibitors potentially just to see should we exhibit, shouldn't we? And yes we are. And when we've got some new countries, we had 42 countries and now we're looking to grow that to at least 45 if not more. Fantastic. Now as you can see here we're at the Bahrain Air Show. Coming to a show like this, how important is this to you to getting the word out and what sort of response you've been getting this week? Well, for, from our perspective, it's been fantastic. I mean, first of all, I'm a great fan of Bahrain. I've got a personal spot for it in my heart. I love Bahrain, and it's lovely to come here. We've got a great opportunity. We've got great Saudi participation as well. We're also, as well, Andy talked about moving forward and moving forward with the defence and technology, and we, we're doing a space hub at our show moving forward. And, of course, they've got some great space exhibits here as well. So it's a really great place here, great networking opportunity, which is what this show is all about, just to meet clients, to continue those relationships and make new relationships. So it's worked really well for us. And Andy, finally, the, the facility itself was quite outstanding. I mean, I think that was just brilliant. Now you're going to be looking at new technologies and all sorts to get into your future of defence. Our, our show, yes, um, the, the facility was amazing. Um, it went up. We've got a great runway there and we're really looking to enhance that. So you'll see at the next show, you're going to see more displays. So we're really going to enhance the flying display. We're going to have a, a brand new sort of land display area as well. So we're going to really work on those, those areas. So the facility is amazing. As, as a manager said, we're going to enhance it and grow a new hall. So it's growing. Um, so it's a, it's a fantastic facility. I can't, I can't ask for more. And the most important question of all, when is it? Yes, good point. We've moved the dates. So um, we've moved back to February, February the 4th to February the 8th now, and it's actually moved from a four-day to a five-day event. Brilliant. Well, it was a real fantastic event, and I think from what we're seeing here already, it's going to be a fantastic event, February 2024. Put that date in your diaries.